In this tutorial session, we'll be focusing on FAC 1501 assignment number two. If you're new to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to get access to the latest public videos the moment that we upload them. Okay, so in order for you to do this assignment, you must first do or self assessments for learning units one to five. Okay. Uh, if you complete uh, these uh, self assessments, you will then have uh, this assignment unlocked. Okay. So assignment or assessment number two is unlocked. Okay. So what we are going to do is simply to attempt the assignment. Okay. I'll try to explain uh, things that I think might be important. Okay. So let us attempt the assignment. It has six questions uh, and then the declaration uh, page. Okay, so the first thing that you can do, if you are afraid that you might run out of time, just go to the declaration page and click uh, yes, and then you go back to uh, uh, these uh, questions. Okay, so let's read the questions and then try to answer them. Okay, if you look at these questions here, you'll notice that uh, everything that they are teaching you here, uh, we've already covered. Okay, so let's just read the questions and then try to answer it. Okay, and it goes like this. Uh, Rabula Spaza is situated in the Limpopo province. The Spaza shop is a registered vet vendor and applies the principles of the perpetual inventory system. After a recent robbery, the owner of Rapula Spaza decided to run his business cashless and open a bank account with Savers Bank. During the month of March, Rapula Spaza maintained a favorable bank balance. The VAT rate is 15%. I will always assume a 15% VAT rate if we are not told. Okay. Then they say, on March 5, 2024, Rapula Spaza pages check out counters from Ocean Furniture, registered VAT vendor for 13,415. This amount is VAT inclusive and pay uh, with the business David card. Okay, so we know that the, this company had a favorable bank balance. Therefore, when they uh, use their bank card to pay, they're actually using money that uh, belongs to them. So they are not using a debt. Okay, so it's not debt financing. So in this case, they say required record the transaction on 5 March in the current subsidiary journal of Rapula Spaza. Okay. So, okay. Further instructions say uh, use full stop to indicate the decimals, round off to two decimal places. If no amount should be recorded, use a zero. If a column name is not applicable, choose uh, not applicable from the drop down menu. Only show the amount, do not show the R. Okay. So in this case, we know that on uh, 5 March, uh, Rapula Spaza purchased something. Okay. So they purchased furniture. So this is, must be a cash payment journal. Okay. Uh, cash payment because they purchased something. So whenever you buy something, uh, you need to claim back that VAT. Okay. From the government. So in terms of VAT, we expect that uh, this must be VAT input. You need to claim this amount. Okay. So this is your cash, uh, cash payments journal. So the abbreviation is CPJ and then, okay. When you have a cash payment journal, there is no analysis of receipts. Okay. There's no analysis of receipts. So this is going to be an A. They said, if it's not applicable, just write zero. Okay. In this case, we know they did not buy inventory. So this is also going to be zero. Okay. Uh, okay, so here we need to write the name of uh, the company that sold us whatever that we bought. In this case, they told us that it's Ocean Finisher. <laughs> okay, which is a VAT registered company. So let's search for Ocean Furniture. Uh, then we need to type the full amount here. Uh, we know it's 13,415, uh, 415. Uh, you don't have to write the decimals okay and uh, here we need to calculate uh, the VAT amount 
and here we need to calculate a red exclusive amount from this one here okay uh, I showed you how to do this I'm not going to do this here so let me just take my calculator in this case we have okay so uh, to determine if we are given the red inclusive value and we want to calculate the red amount so the red amount will be okay we have uh, 13415 uh, okay from 13415 then the red amount is going to be 1749.78 uh, and then the red exclusive value will be 11665.22 uh, uh, okay and uh, this one is furniture so we need to state that okay this is furniture oh after doing this uh, you should proceed to the next question okay